Hello learners, today we are back with a question again. There are some kinds of problems where if you know a concept you can get the answer, but there are some kind of questions where you need an a multiplicity of options, a multiplicity of uh, application and principles to get to the formula in an efficient way. Now, this is one such problem where in order to solve it easily not only you need you need to know the divisibility rule of 7, but it needs a little bit of application and uh, this question really got my juices flowing. Now, what this question is asking was, okay, before going there, let me explain you the divisibility rule of 7 and why this is, why the importance for this particular problem is, from the past 2-3 years. There are at least 2 or 3 problems associated with this number, either they are asking you something related with 13 or divisibility rules of uh, 7 or something 11 or even the result based on 1001. So, if you see past 3 questions, this uh, pattern has manifested itself at least 2 or 3 times. So, this is the reason for its importance. Now. The divisibility rule of 7 is, suppose let us take a number A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You start from the right and divide the number into blocks of 3 and then assign alternate symbols starting with positive at the first end. This is negative, this is positive. Now, then add both positive ends and subtract. So, A plus E F G minus B C D. Whatever the resultant you get, 0, it should be either 0 or a multiple of 7. This is the rule for 7 and for 11 too, the same case applies. Divide a number into blocks of 3 and then apply the same. same. If this result is 0 or a multiple of 13, then that number is divisible by 13. So, this is the first part. Now, let us apply to this. Three seven nine eight one. 25p369. So, the divisibility rule of 7 is divide the number into a block of 3 and assign alternate alternate symbols and now and this is x. x minus y should be 0 or a multiple of 7. This is the rule. Now, if you do it this way, knowing the divisibility rule does not help you solve this problem because it is becoming more, uh, complexity is more, but complexity has not decreased by that much. Even if you do by normally what people do, for uh, they do by long division, take every number and uh, long division, how do you do? 3, 7, 9, 8, 1, suppose. 7, 7 5s are 35, next 2, next 9, 7 4s are 28, next 1. So, and these are many numbers are here. So, it is becoming long. And what we discuss here is the process and an efficient way. Now, this has happened. Even though we have reduced to this, still 981 plus 369 is a bigger number, and we still need to calculate the remainder by 7. So, the complexity has not, it has decreased, but not decreased that much. So, let us do one more. Same process. Three seven eight one 
25p Twenty five P three six nine. So three six nine. What we have done is now instead of adding all this, one way is add the remainders themselves. How? Observe this principle. We know that twelve by four, we get a remainder. 0 ok now this is remainder now see this as yes the remainder of this whole portion to Two by four, okay. Can it be done this way? Yes, it could. It could be. Now, what is the remainder of ten by four? It is two here, and here since two is less. So, always your answer is going to be same. So, since this is a big number, instead of adding this of the remainder here itself so that because what is the maximum remainder you can get for 7 it is 0 to 6 only so calculation becomes easier and complexity reduces now this is plus this is minus this is plus and this is Three sixty nine divided by seven. Three sixty nine divided by seven. This is uh, level one of solving. Uh, we get a remainder of five. So here remainder is five. Next thirty seven. We get a remainder of two. Seven five is that way? Yes, remainder of two. And how can you write twenty five p? 25p can be written as 250 plus p. Now, for 981, what is the remainder for 981? Here also the remainder is 1. Now, if you are not gone this step, the option would be 981 plus 369 and then uh, finding out the remainder. But here, continue the same process. What we get? Add all the plus forms. 1 plus 5. Add all the negative this thing. Negative is minus 250 minus p minus 2. Here 250 is remember, here 250 is the digit. What is the remainder of 250? It is 5 again. So now your equation will be reduced to 6 minus 7 minus p because 5 is the remainder here, this becomes minus 5 and 2 we get from 37 minus p is equals to 0. So, the remainder of 7 is already 0. So, so 6 minus p equals to 0. So, the value of p is 6. You see, even after knowing the divisibility rule, the problem is complex enough. So, in order to solve such problems, especially in reminders and uh, divisibility always always take the help of reminders see because we have taken reduce the whole number to ones twos and fives it is easily doable and you can solve this problem less than in less than a minute so
for people this is level 1 and for people who are still find it difficult to find reminders of consider the unit digit multiply it by 2 and subtract from this what for example 369 you want to know whether it is divisible by 7 or not. So, consider 36, now 9 twos are 18, subtract from here, we will get 18, is 18 divisible by 7? No. So, 369 is not divisible by 7, ok. I will give you one more shortcut here. If you want, what is the reminder here? Think in this way. You got this, this answer here. See in such a way that for what do we need to do? What is the divisibility rule of 7 for small numbers? We need to ensure that we need to add or subtract something from here so that this becomes a multiple of 7. Now see, since we are multiplying by 2, it would be a good approximation if this difference could also be a factor of 2. Okay? Now, what are the multiples that are above 18 of 7? It is 21, 28. What is the difference between 18 and 21? It is 3. So, this is not divisible by 2, ok. Now, consider the next multiple 18 and 28, the difference is 10 which is divisible by 2. So, your remainder will be half of this difference. For example, 18 minus 20, 28 minus 18 which is 10, half of this difference is 5. So, this will be your remainder. You want to check this? Check by the long division method 360 by 9, 7, 7 fives are 35, 19, 7 twos 14 and 5. Instead of doing all this, just for small numbers follow this way. We have not used this trick here, we just did by long division method. But when you use this trick further, this becomes much more easier because now you are not even dealing with three digit numbers, you are dealing with two digits only because every three digit number is reduced to is reduced to a two digit number through this process. So, using both these techniques, uh, you can easily solve this under a minute. Seems fun enough, learn something new and be very important especially all those numbers or uh, all those properties which are connected to this number 13 into 11 into 7. Be very mindful. I hope uh, you found this both entertaining and challenging will come up with another video like this. Thank you.